Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and I wanted to show you how this beautiful die works. You can see that. This is a Sizzix Thinlet die, and it's got two different sizes of butterflies. This one is five and a quarter inches, and this one is three and five eighths inches. I'm going to do the small one right now just to show you how it works. This is the small one. Look at that. It's layered, and I put some stickles on it, of course, but it's got two different layers. And this die actually cuts out different than just about any die that I have ever seen. So I'm going to try my best. I'm going to put, I'm going to use a piece of this in the background just so that it'll show up a little bit better. And I am just cutting that down. And you want to make sure that your sheet is folded in half. I, I'm sorry that I can't get everything in frame, but this is, this big shot's pretty big. I'm going to start with the base part. This is the back part, and as you can see, it's just the one wing. On this wing, let's see if I can get it up here where you can see it. You see that little line right there? That is the line that you want to put on the fold. Just like if you was cutting out some kind of pattern or something and it says place this on the fold, that's what it says here. And you want to put that line right there, not the end, but this line on the fold. So we're going to do that. Place that on the fold. Just like that. And then I'm just going to use some of our purple tape. We got this purple tape in that everybody has been begging for. So, see if I can show you how I laid that on there. There we go. You see I've got that line right at the edge. Almost at the edge. Let me pull it out a little bit more. Got that line at the edge of my paper. That's where you want to put it. This is my fold over here. So then I'm just going to put my other plate on. And, whoops run it through and I always run it through and then run it back not you don't have to I do that just because I don't want to try to get it out that other end so let me show you this how pretty this cuts if you get some of this tape and I've already had some people order it it is pretty sticky I take a piece off and just kind of stick it on my shirt until I get ready to use it that takes some of that stickiness off of there because when you first pull it off it's pretty sticky okay so there is the base part let's see yes there's the base part of the butterfly look how cute that cuts now it does cut these two little pieces right here and I'm on this one I went ahead and cut those off because they were hindering me seeing my little antennas here you can leave it on cut it off it doesn't matter it just depends on what it's going to look like when you get ready to use it now i'm going to use this piece for my body for the layer and i'm just going to fold it in half make sure that i've got a pretty crisp line there now you can see on this one it says place on the fold. This edge has got to go on the fold. Not the other part, but the edge. You don't want to push it on out like we did that other one. So we'll get some of this tape and just kind of tape it down a little bit just so that it doesn't move when I put my other plate on here. And then we're going to run that through and run it back. Okay. I'll show you how pretty this cuts out and how it, you can get all of those little pieces out very, very easy. They come out really on their own. See, they're already falling out. I just kind of tap it on the side of my big shot and then you're just going to pull that off 
So there it is. And you think, oh, I've just got one wing. But you open it up, and there is your wings. Isn't that pretty? Now, it also has the little body that you cut out too. You can. Now, if you're planning on using this and putting it uh, like I do, putting some bling down through there, you don't necessarily have to cut out the body. But I'm going to show you how cute that body is when you cut it out. Now, for the body, you just need a single piece. You don't need to, to fold it. And then we'll just run that through. And it comes out really easy. You've got a body for the large one and the small one, so there you go. This is not exactly a matching color, but I made that back so that you could see on here. Now I want to show you when I lay this down on top. See how it, those little things right there kind of hinder my antennas from showing. So you can cut those off if you want to. I did on this one. I just trimmed them off and then my little antenna showed. Now as you can see, we just trimmed that off. And then we're going to put some glue right here in the center part. That's the only part that I'm going to glue down. You could glue the whole thing down if you wanted to. But I think it looks prettier if it's not glued down because it makes it look more three dimension. Just kind of center it up and then take your little body and put a little glue on that and then just lay him down right there on top. And as you can see, there is our butterfly. Is that not cute? And then you can lift these wings up. You can put stickles on them. You can put Wink of Stella on them. You can do whatever you want to. And you've got a three-dimension butterfly. I think they're so adorable. Like I said, there's the one that I made to go on top of a project that I will be doing for you for tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it's going to be another different type explosion box, so make sure that you watch for that. But there is that one. And I think we only have a few of these left, so if you want one, go over and grab it quickly. Here's a, another example of something they did. They made a little chain of butterflies with it there. That's cute. All right, guys. I wanted, also wanted to tell you that there will be another Made It Con, and we have been invited, and it will be in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, September 13th through the 15th. So go ahead and mark your calendars. There'll be more information coming on that just as soon as we can get it all ironed out. But I hope that you'll be able to join us in Tennessee in September, and we will talk to you guys later. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Hit my face right up there and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.